Getting hold of these certificates marks a new dawn for these women and youth having attended training in various sectors under the tech. Right now I do software engineering and I'm so grateful for it. Just now I know what I didn't know at first. I'm more skilled about technology and I'm more powered. The Chief Executive Office of Memusi Hope Foundation Rehab Lanoe tells me that some of them had never come close to a computer before they joined the facility. Some of them had just cleared school and they had uh, not seen a computer. So it was, uh, it was the first time they are coming to... Remember this is a, a pastoral community and we're not just talking about children who are in the urban areas. We're talking about children who are in, in the interiors. And that's precisely why Memusi Hope Foundation partnered with Moringa School, Also Tech Limited, IEC Telecom Group, Kenic Limited, Huawei Technologies and Santos Okota to deliver Entaisere Kenya, an education program to equip young girls with software development skills. Moringa School has lent them laptops to use for this program. The one tool that they need and they can work from anywhere, is a laptop. It's the only thing they need. And if there's internet, they can work even in a basement. Right now, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, if you have a, if you must have a computer science degree to become a tech expert. You know, right now, with just basic knowledge, in a high school, you've had, some of these guys are straight from high school, and right now, in just about five weeks, they're able to build websites. Over the past two years, numerous initiatives have been rolled out in East Africa. According to IEC Telcom Head of Business Development, Allah Al-Sadi, IEC has been actively working to bring affordable satellite connectivity to the community. Ostatech Chief Executive Director Oscar Mwai, on his part, says that using satellite connectivity positions the community in the map and will be able to expose the women and youth into the job market. The government should now work deeper into supporting even more students who have interest in technology, directly supporting programs that work to improve literacy and education is one way to help girls and the youth reach their potential. Elijah Memusi Kancho is the brains behind the initiative. We are hopeful that uh, these young people here today, uh, five mon months down the lane, they will be able to come up with solutions so of uh, certain other, of, of some of the challenges that we are facing as a community. The patron of the Memusi Hope Foundation, who also doubles up as the member of parliament Kajiado Central, is hoping to expand the initiative to other counties and perhaps also venture into other sectors of the economy that aims to promote the youth and women. We have a projection of working with at least, uh, in, it depends on the activity, on the program that we are going to undertake. But at least we are looking at working uh, in terms of women empowerment, we are looking at working with at least 500 women, women and youth in empowering them so that they can be more, they can be more resilient, they can be able to f uh, improve on their livelihood. It is now the hope of these graduates that they will be able to be competitive in the labor market or better yet, come up with their own innovations. <laughs> Linda Koskei K24 TV. Aha.